first of all, I guess, you know, the first question is why is this event, Pow Wow Week, important for just artists in general and the art scene in Long Beach? Pow Wow Week in Long Beach is important because it inserts Long Beach into a longer and larger conversation of our, around the world. So the fact that we will be dialoguing through visual art with artists from Portugal, from France, from España, those are the artists that are communicating with our artists. And many of the art artists have chosen to do murals this week as well. So that's the conversation that needs to be had. And the celebration at the Long Beach Museum of Art brings um, the Long Beach art scene, our museum scene to more people, over a thousand people, I believe. So this is the conversation that ignites an interest in a fire, and then we just need to continue and make it more accessible to all the community. I'm glad Pow Wow Long Beach is now in other parts of the city other than downtown. And and that's, I guess, the second point, which is, you know, when Pow Wow leaves, um, the murals will obviously stay, but how do we translate that into one, the next generation of artists who live in Long Beach, training the next generation of, of young people who hopefully will be artists, who will learn to be on this kind of scale. What, what do we need to do, not just the Arts Council, but I mean, what do we who live in Long Beach need to do? Well, um, one, we need to engage our business leaders. Um, a lot of how Pawa goes about it is through the business owners of, of the property um, or business owners that are interested. And so there are a lot of Long Beach business owners that want to get involved. And so connecting them with the Arts Council is one. As residents, as community members, um, we need to advocate for ourselves as community members to say, you know what, my hijo or my nephew or my friend's friend, they want to be an artist. I need to advocate so that they have the training, the skills, the supplies in their schools or after school programs so that they can begin to be part of the art world. Um, and I think that's probably the one place we should start. How do we get art in the school? We already have art in the schools, but then how do we keep the training going, right? It's a long, lifelong process to be an artist. And if a young person wants to get involved, we need to advocate for them at the city level, at the school district level. Um, Julia mentioned public funding for the arts. That's a place where the community residents can come together and say, yes, we need public funding so that someone who's a volunteer at Pow Wow could then go to college and major in studio art, who then goes onto maybe another career or, or starts being an artist in Long Beach. Um, we also need uh, creative spaces. The more creative spaces we have, the more young artists have to express themselves. Um, you know, getting involved with the Arts Council means, you know, joining us on our conversation, supporting our 40th anniversary campaign, donating so that we can have more micro grants, so that then the artists in the community can apply for it, and then he or she or they could put a wall up, you know, and so that's what would need to start happening here in Long Beach, I think. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.